Yvette here and I am the Witch Willow Creek. Welcome to a Witch and Tarot and today's video is a BR to D, to D over a divination. Um, she did a spread called Releasing the Burden and she got it from Instagram from Healer Josephine. And I will put both both links down below. And uh, let's start with the, with the spread. The first question... shuffle this a couple of times before I do that question. Okay, I just this deck is so so uh because the card top, the card stuff is you know really good card stop so it's like really thick uh, hard to shuffle okay so, the first question is, the burden I've been carrying. So, what is the burden I've been carrying? I have no idea I was carrying a burden, but okay. What is the burden I've been carrying? Maybe I suppressed it way down. Deep. What is the burden that I've been carrying? thing with gilded um, decks is that the gilding starts getting chipped away. Burden that I've been carrying. What is the burden that I've been carrying? I think it's this one. Ace of Winter. Burden I've been carrying. Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas that should be implemented. So, I had no idea that I was carrying this burden. I guess, I know, I guess I knew. I mean, I, I have been experiencing major, major writer's block, so. Like, I still cannot get out of it. I finally got to 10,000 words a while back, but I haven't been able to write anything else since. And, you know, I just keep thinking to myself, there's there's just, like, so many stories running around in my head, so many different types or so many different books, and I'm just, like, that I can't finish the one that I started. You know what I mean? It's It's just difficult. So that's the burden that I've been carrying. It's not being able to finish my writing. Uh, number two. Why have I been carrying this? Why, why have I been carrying this? Why have I been carrying this? Why have I been carrying strength? The grace of inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. Uh -huh. Okay, so I've been carrying it around because... Okay, for one, I am... I don't know anybody else, but I have a fear of success. I have a fear of success, and I know that that's probably what's stopping me from finishing that book because I, I don't know the challenges that comes with that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, what happens if the if the book does really well? You know. Um, so. So I, I guess that's why I've been carrying it around, okay, carrying it around with me so long is because I, I just have a fear of succeeding. Number three, what have I been carrying, who have I been carrying this for? 
Okay, who have I been carrying this for? Apparently, I'm not just carrying it for myself, guys. Who have I been carrying this burden for? That's number three. King of Autumn. I've been carrying this for okay so I, I guess I feel that um, I've been carrying this for um, I would say I would say my family because I mean I do have a I mean, if, if, here's the thing, success is good, and so it helps the people that I'm carrying it for, right? But at the same time, it's just like, like, I worry about what kind of people they will become if I become success, you know, if I, if, if I become successful, the book becomes successful. That means I become successful. That means my family is in, is in the uh, situation where mom is successful, right? And um, like how would they act? Like you've seen other people's children, how they act when when uh, their, their parents are successful. And like, you know what I mean? And that's probably another reason why I delay myself. Because I I feel that my kids are so grounded and so loving to other people they they're thoughtful with other people they care about other people that I'm afraid that this will ruin them you know so but I mean I raised them well enough to, and I should understand that I raised them well enough not to not to change but then again you know success changes people I'm just saying and I guess that's what it is. Is I just don't want them to change. Um, so number four. How can I set this burden down? 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 This is number four. The Empress, time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. She's got to do it. I just got to do it. I can't be worried about what's going to happen if, if, they're, if they're going to change, what success is going to do to us. You know, I, I won't know unless I do it. And, you know. Fear is an illusion of what could happen. You know, it's just all in your head. What, what, all the bad things come to mind or whatnot. So, I mean, we shall. I, I, I just need to do it. The only way to put this burden down is to finish it and see what happens. Because at the same time, it, it may not be a success, right? So, and even and even if it is, I won't know unless it happens. So I just have to do it. So number five. Number five. How can I stop making things harder than they need to be? So how can I stop making things harder than they need to be? How can I stop making things harder than they need to be? Four of Autumn. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money help out those who are less fortunate so how can I make it less harder how can I stop making things harder than they are I just gotta manage my I just gotta manage my time 
because a lot of it has to do with time for me when it comes to writing. I, I just don't set enough time out to do it. Things happen, come up so often in my life that I just, that always puts a, you know, it's get put, it gets put in the back burner. But at the same time, it also gets put in the back burner because I have a fear of success, you know? So, um, like, I'm okay with putting it in the back burner. And so, in order, to, and I need to stop making it harder on myself and I just need to get it done. So, support number six, support clarity from from guides. Uh, okay, so now I, and now I think I'm going to use... Uh, because she she used the um, the angels and ancestors oracle, I'm going to use the the priestess of light oracle for this. So for number six, I'm going to, I want to support and clarity from my guides. So I want to support and clarity from my guides. So support and clarity from my guides. Shamanic journey, purpose, atonement, vision quest. Apparently, I need to meditate some more. Uh, support, clarity, and guidance. I need to have a meeting of the minds with my guides because... Support, clarity, and guidance to my guides. So uh, the, the affirmation is, I am attuned to the shaman within. I devote myself to my own soul's journey, and I am blessed. So... I need to go within myself. The support and clarity that I'm getting from my guys is that I need to go within myself to lessen this burden, to to put down this burden, to help me put down this burden, to help me move forward because I I'm stuck. I am definitely stuck with this with this uh, project and this is pretty much what they're telling me is that I need to start looking within. I haven't meditated in a long time now. I mean, it's been a while. So, I need to get back into the swing of things and hopefully I can get some clarity as to how to uh, get past this block. Okay, guys, so that was the releasing the burden spread from uh, he Healer Josephine, and I will put her link down below. I'll put both links down below to hers and, uh, and uh, the link to Dee's channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.